to be performing at Brooklyn Heights High School. Ray! Yeah! Coming here is just our way of saying thank you to the young lady who helped us get our first big break, Miss Patty Lane. Yeah! Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I feel very proud and happy to realize that I had a part in giving Nigel and Patrick to the world. I'll never forget the first time I heard them sing. It was at a little radio station right here in Brooklyn Heights on a day that was also pretty historic for my cousin Kathy. She had just been given a very big job there. Good afternoon, music lovers. This is Kathy Lane, broadcasting a new program of classical recordings presented by Brooklyn Heights High School over Brooklyn Heights' own station, BHBH. We open with Chopin's Nocturne in E-flat major, played by the distinguished young American pianist, Harold Burke. Meet Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet, the ballet russe and crepe Suzette. Our Patty loves to rock and roll, a hot dog makes her lose control. What a wild duet, still their cousins, identical cousins and you find. They walk alike, at times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind when cousins are two of a kind. Bravo, that was great. Did I sound all right? Like a real pro. Why, the school did a smart thing picking you to announce this jazz of music. <laughs> Thank you, Patty, and thanks for rallying round. You couldn't keep me away. Besides, I like this music. It's real catchy. <laughs> Patty, you don't have to stay for the whole program. I want to, Kathy. I'm really beginning to get with it. But why don't you wait for me at the Shake Shop? Okay, cuz. But I really mean it. Now, who needs the four Beatles when you can have the three Bs? <laughs> the three Bs, Patty? Sure. Bach, Beethoven, and... Bach. Beethoven. Hmm. Lenny Bernstein? <laughs> it's all right, Patty. Two out, please. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thank you, love. Hi, I'm Patty Lane. 
Who are you? I'm Nigel. I'm Patrick. Nigel and Patrick. You must be British. How can she tell? After all, being subjects of Her Majesty the Queen. Blessed with a talent for entertaining. And in bad need of a haircut. <laughs> Naturally, we came to America to seek our fortune. How come I've never heard of you? <laughs> Who has? We're nobody so far. But you've got so much talent. Yes. And rhythm. Yes. yes. And what's more, you're kind of cute. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, then what's holding you back? Connections. We haven't got any. That's terrible. The world needs you. We're available. And I know what you need. A manager. Right. Someone with drive, enthusiasm, and contact. Right. And I know just the person. Me. Uh, Why not? Well, no offense, love. I mean, you're, you're a nice girl, but what can you do for us? Uh, true, I am a nobody, but uh, it just so happens that my father is Martin Lane, managing editor of the New York Chronicle. Blimey. Papa knows everybody. All he has to do is pick up the phone and you're on your way. But what if he doesn't like our kind of music? How could he not like it? It can happen. First time my old man had to sing, he threatened to kick me out of the house. <laughs> well, my father appreciates every kind of talent. And when he hears how great you are, he'll say... Mindless, monotonous drivel. How else describe the so-called music pouring out of our jukeboxes and into the ears of the youth of America? Hear, hear. Someone said, I don't care who writes the nation's laws if I can write its songs. We at the Chronicle wonder what kind of laws will be written by the generation that responds to this kind of music. That's powerful stuff, Martin. Well, it's high. Come in. Hi, Papa. Hello, Patty. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you know Mr. James. Yes, nice to see you again, Mr. James. Of course she does. Patty, what brings you to these parts? I was uh, just down listening to Kathy and Alfred's symphony program. Oh, I told you about Kathy's radio show. How was it? Oh, terrific. And then I ran into this wonderful new musical group. Musical group? What are they, a sort of uh, string quartet? No, not exactly. Uh, actually, there are just two of them. Oh, and they're really terrific, Papa. All they need is a break. Well, Martin, maybe we can get our concert editor to look. I was hoping maybe you could hear him, Papa. Why, well, I'd be glad to, honey. When could we set it up? Right now, they're outside. Well, Kathy isn't the only lover of fine music in your family. No, evidently some of Kathy's good taste is rubbed off on Patty. Here they are, Papa. Go, boys, go! Can't give you no. Nuts are like they're sensational. You really mean it? From the heart. <laughs> well, you heard what he said. And to think you brought them to me, Danny Leonard, a hole in the wall, fly by night, a nobody. Mr. Leonard, you may be a hole in the wall, fly by night, nobody. But we believe in you. And I believe in them young fellas, a hundred percent. You want us to make a record? What record? A whole album. An album? It can't miss. I'll stake my bottom dollar. Well, how soon can you record us, Mr. Leonard? Who says we can? But you... You said you believe in them. And I do, but who am I? Danny Leonard, a hole in the wall, fly by I night to nobody. nobody. Let's go, Nigel. Wait a minute. I ain't finished. It happens I got a silent partner, rich brother-in-law, Max Winters. He manufactures shoes. 
You mean, if he likes them? We're in business. Well, we'll audition for him. Impossible. Max wouldn't listen. But if he won't listen, how... He don't listen to people only to records. You gotta go out and make a demo. What's a demo? A demonstration record. Oh. That's gonna cost money, Mr. Leonard. Don't look at me. But you said you'd stake your bottom dollar. I already spent it. <laughs> but if you fellas go out and make a demo, and Max likes it, we can go all the way. All the way. All the way. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Thank you. Take one. Ross, would you tell Patty that... Oh, excuse me. That's okay, Kath. I'd like you to meet Nigel and Patrick, my cousin, Kathy Lane. Evening. Oh, how'd you do? How'd you do? Kathy's a disc jockey. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, but she only plays long hair stuff. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Down, boys, not that kind of long hair. They're really very talented, Kathy. I'm sure. It was very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Okay, come on, let's get with it. Nigel and Patrick, take one. Can't give you love. That's just not there. Or even say it's for you. I really care. Your eyes, I see. stand in a corner. Nigel and Patrick, take two. One, two, three, four. Can't give you love. That's just not there. Or even say true. Dynamite. You really like it? What's not to like? Then you'll play it for your brother-in-law? I told Max you fellas are making a demo. What did he say? He won't listen. That's wonderful. He won't listen? Max says, what does he know from demos? A shoe manufacturer. 
What you said. It's what Max says. He wants to hear him on the air. On the air? Max says he won't put up a nickel until a disc jockey plays the record, and then he'll spring. Mr. Leonard, we're just kids. We don't know any disc jockeys. Naturally. But you must, Mr. Leonard. I mean, being in the business. Do I know the DJs? Intimately. Well, that's great. But I could pick up the phone and call any one of them right now and tell them that I personally think that you fellas have a terrific number here. Well, will you? What use would it be? Who'd listen to me? Danny Leonard, a hole in the wall, fly by night, nobody. Let's go, Nigel. Wait a minute, fellas. We're not licked yet. Sure, I'm a nobody, and I don't know any disc jockeys. But I believe in Nigel and Patrick. And somehow, I'm going to see to it that you go all the way. All the way. All the way. Dynamite. <laughs> Fellas, I tried. But? I went to every disc jockey in town. But? I told them how great you sing and how you really deserve a break. But? But they have a rule. <laughs> they won't play anything that hasn't been recorded. But we can't get recorded until someone puts us on the air. Let's face it, fellas, we're dead. You think someplace in New York there'd be a time, John? We have a program for tomorrow. Brahms second, Beethoven's fifth, and Chopin's fantasy in F minor. Brahms, Beethoven, Chopin. Why can't she give young blokes a chance? That's show business. What'd you say? Yeah. Brahms, Beethoven, and Chopin. No, not you. I said, why can't she give young blokes a chance? Nigel and Patrick, you're not only talented and tall, you're geniuses. <laughs> Patty! Patty, for the 50th time, I've told you it's impossible. But why, Kathy? It's such a small favor to ask. I told you why, because I only play the classics. But Nigel and Patrick are classic. But you know I'd like to oblige you. Yeah, that's why I told Mr. Leonard to tune in tomorrow. Patty, he'll be listening with his brother-in-law, the silent partner money man. Well, I hope they like Tchaikovsky's sixth, because that's what they'll be hearing. Oh, Kathy, the whole record takes only three minutes to play. Now, what are three minutes? Long enough to get me thrown off the air. <laughs> Struck out, huh? Your cousin Kathy's a very stubborn person, Ross. Yeah, I know. So is her cousin Patty. Go get me that demo. But Kathy says she won't play it. That's her opinion. Go get the demo. <laughs> Patty, you're not going to start badgering me again. No, no. As a matter of fact, I came to apologize for being such a pest. That's all right. I know how easy it is to get carried away. Yeah, I'm pretty kooky, but I'm all over it now. Kathy, isn't it about time for you to go on the air? Oh, just about, as soon as the sound engineer gets here. Oh. You mind if I hang around for a while? No, I'd love it. Thanks. Oh, uh, that's where you keep the records, huh? Yes. From Palestrina to Mountain Piston. My. Boy, it's a pretty heavy door. Oh, it's like a bank vault in there. Once you close that door, you could shoot off a cannon and nobody would hear it. No kidding. Uh, what's your program today? Uh, Tchaikovsky and Greek. But if there's something you'd like to hear. Aside from Nigel and Patrick, I'd be very happy to play it. <laughs> Never heard of them. Could you play uh, Beethoven's... Uh, uh, Beethoven's... Beethoven's what? His... How about his first symphony? It's very melodic. Oh, great. All right, I'll get it. Right, it is like a bank ball. <laughs> Shame on you, Patty.
shouldn't let her do this to me. But I will. Hi, Kathy. Ready to roll? Yes, all set. Uh, we'll play these two, and uh, you can put this one on first. Nigel and Patrick? On this program, Kathy? Uh, yes, it's an ex experiment I'm making to see how our listeners react to the modern British ryth rhythms. It's your show. Yes. This is B.H. B.H., the voice of Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights? I never heard of it. Sit back and listen, Max, and I promise you from the money we'll make with these two young fellas, your Walter will go to Harvard. That'll be the day. We now offer an hour of recorded music presented by Brooklyn Heights High School. A uh, high school program, Danny. What are you doing to me? Take my word, Max, it's those high school kids who buy all the records today. That's right, Papa. Sheets of America. Pick nation's hits. God help America. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kathy Lane. Kathy Lane? Who's she? Very big in Brooklyn, Max. The kids swear by her. We open our program this afternoon with a number by two young boys whom I predict will be number one in all our jukeboxes. You hear what she said, Max? Here are Nigel and Patrick singing Truth Often Hurts the Heart. Go, boys, go. <laughs> You said one of them must be a woodpecker. Somebody goofed. I'll tell you who goofed. My hole in the wall fly by night. Nobody of a brother in law. Wait a minute, Max. You're wrong. Look. Ooh. Oh, hey, man. Dig that beast. He's flipping. He's nuts about him. You hear, Max? You hear? The youth of America has spoken. goes to prove that if you've got British pluck, a lot of talent, and very long hair, <laughs> nothing can stop you. Go, boy! Yeah! I loved you all the summer through I thought I'd found my dream in you But now it's over and done Cause that was yesterday Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike. 